Riverside Towing Company has students feeling scammed. Tiger TV reporter Brittany Price tells us about game day towing procedures. LSU students, faculty, and fans have been complaining about Riverside towing tactics around campus. Students are raising questions whether they are really running a scam. Game day at Tiger Stadium, major events in downtown Baton Rouge, and the LSU area apartment complexes are all hot spots for the Riverside Towing Company. With major complaints against Riverside, people are feeling like they're running a scam, staying open until 3 p.m. on Saturday, and if towed, charged for the weekend, even if you are waiting in line. I feel like it's kind of annoying just because you have to pay every single day and they're not even open every day to get it. So instead of paying one day, you can pay three. Um, I just think it's really stupid. I realize that you know, people have complained about it, you know, people talk about it. Um, there might have even been an, an editorial or two throughout the ages at the Reveille, but really nothing, no effective organized actions have been taken to really bring to light and to the regulatory bodies what a problem this is. Riverside is not a stranger to scandals. In 2009, Riverside was the subject of a state police investigation called Operation Illegal Tow. The agency cited the firm with 81 counts, including filing false statements and non-consensual towing. When asked for a comment on the company's policy, the manager respectfully declined. Reporting for LSU's Tiger TV, I'm Brittany Price. As more football games approach us, please be aware of where you can and cannot park your vehicle.